Hey guys, my name is Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about a company I came across called Artifact Uprising. So I got married five months ago in October and immediately after I got my photographs back, I could not wait to make a wedding album. I want to make sure that when I choose a company to make this album for me, that it's something that is going to be of high quality, that it's timeless, that it's as beautiful as my uh, wedding was, that it reflects everything about my wedding, that all of my photographs look exactly how they look on my computer, um, and that it's something that I can put on my coffee table to have for the rest of my life. So I'm thinking very, very carefully about the company that I'm going to choose to print this book. I've been looking at Artifact Uprising. I came across them on Instagram. Their page is beautiful. Um, everything about the website is super easy to use, very user friendly, and I, I've, I've been playing with the app on there for literally like the last five months. Designing my Lay Flat album photo book, which is, that's the kind of book that I'm looking at. It's a Lay Flat photo album, and I haven't really seen a ton on YouTube and um, Pinterest of, of reviews on this particular book. There's reviews of other items that they sell, but not not the lay flat photo album. So they give you plenty of options. First of all, you can choose any color for the book. Um, I'm looking at doing like a navy with like maybe a copper foiling or gold foiling. There's also a hunter green. I had a fall wedding, so I want a really deep color for my um, for my book. And it's just a solid fabric cover. There, there's no photos on the cover. It's just solid. And um, so I'm probably gonna choose something like a deep color because pink, I don't know, that's more of like a spring color. As much as I would love to get like pink or, or white, um, I wanna choose something that reflects the feel and the colors from, from my actual wedding. So my biggest issue with, with making this book is that I don't know what kind of paper to use. They give you two options. It's eggshell or luster. So when you read the descriptions of the two paper options, the eggshell is supposed to be more matte, and then the luster says that it um, reflects uh, more of like a traditional photograph. So I'm thinking that the, the eggshell is more matte and that the luster is more glossy. I don't know if it is actually glossy, but I'm thinking it's more glossy than the eggshell. Um, I have probably been contemplating this longer than I, I should should have been. Um, but finally I got an email from Artifact Uprising, probably because I have an unfinished photo album in there, uh, in my cart on their website. And they sent me an offer to receive 10 free prints from them. Um, all I had to do was pay for shipping. So I, I took them up on it. I was able to submit any kind of photo I wanted and I was able to receive 10 five by five photos and they're square. The paper that they sent me these prints on is a Mohawk super fine eggshell 120 pound paper and I received my package in the mail pretty quickly. I think it was about a three or four day turnaround from the time that I submitted my photos. This is what it looks like. It says the wait is over. So I'm really excited to see what these look like. Let's have a look and let's decide if this is the paper that I want to use for my wedding album. Okay, so covering up my dress here, uh, but this is it. Um, so I'm gonna open this up. Photographs. Um, it looks like it just slides out here. Honor that which is meaningful. Thank you for choosing to preserve your stories and make these moments tangible. We're nothing without the community behind us. So I think that has to do with their Instagram following, which I know they're um, associated with the company Visco, which a lot of people use for Instagram. So I think that's pretty cool. So if I lift this up, I have my photographs here. So I have to say, I I am a little disappointed with the um, 
the finish of this. It's definitely unique and it's beautiful, but it's very matte. Um, it's almost a little grainy. I think if you were going for a more antique -y, old time feel, that this would be great. But I do like something with a little bit more, um, I guess, luster than this. That's my grandfather. He was pretty gangster looking. Um, so I'm not sure that, actually I'm 100% sure that this is not the type of paper that I'm going to use for my photo album. It's just, it's just a little too grainy. If I wanted to be able to write in the photo album, like if I was doing a wedding guest album or guest book, then I would probably choose this finish because this is gonna be great paper to be able to write on or if you wanted to write on the back of these, um, but not for what I'm going for, for like a beautiful coffee table book. I, I don't think that this is gonna work for me. So I love these. I think these are great. Um, I'm definitely going to use these and keep these, but it's just, it was a great idea because it's something that I can, you know, like I said, this is, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to see what this type of paper looks like in person and decide if it was something I wanted my photo album to be made out of. And the answer is no, but these are beautiful. I think these are going to be great. I, what I'm going to do with one of them or with a few of them is be able to um, and these are actually from my wedding, as you can tell. But I want to frame them in a in a glass see-through frame like that. I think that'll be really, really beautiful. So anyway, thanks for checking out my review of this Artifact Uprising company that I came across. I hope it was helpful for someone else to be able to make something beautiful from them.